So if you have ever wanted to catch a big snook, today's video is for you. I'm gonna put everything that I've learned in the last 20 years into three easy steps and I'm gonna show you the one technique that is by far the easiest, the most efficient, and the most effective. And absolutely anyone can do it. I think you're really gonna be surprised how easy this is. Now before I show you those three easy steps, let me show you the gear that you're gonna to need to succeed. The first thing that you need is a rod and reel. No surprise, right? Well, this is just a medium to light action saltwater rod and reel. Now, the only reel requirement is the rod. And we're gonna be using live bait with this technique. So you're gonna need a rod that's able to support the weight of a heavy bait fish and cast that out. But aside from that, any rod and reel will do. Now, in this particular one, I have braid. I think it's 30 pound braid, but that doesn't really matter. You can use monofilament, braid, you can use fluorocarbon, whatever you like. This is very important. When you're snook fishing, you must use a leader. Now, you can use monofilament leader, you can use fluorocarbon leader. It doesn't matter. A lot of people think you need to use fluorocarbon because it's less visible to the fish. I have not found that to be the case. Monofilament's much cheaper and it works just as well. So either one you wanna use is fine. Now the important part is the size of the leader. I always use 50 pound test leader. Now if you wanna use a little bit heavier, you can do that, but never use anything less than 50 pound test for the technique I'm about to show you because I've had fish wear straight through 30 pound test and even 40 pound test. So 50 pound leader is gonna be right what you want. So when you attach your leader to the line, do not use a swivel. We're not gonna be using a weight in this technique, so you don't need a swivel. Attach your leader directly to the line. Now, if you don't know how to do that, make sure you do a YouTube search and look at the different knots that you need to, to tie the leader to the line. Now, if you're using braid, you're gonna need a different type of knot than if you're using mono to mono, or mono to fluoro, or braid to fluoro. So make sure you look up those knots to get the right ones. Now we're gonna be using live bait. So it's very, very important that you use a circle hook because circle hooks will not gut hook a snook. Even if they swallow that bait down, you will not hook them in the gut with a circle hook. It'll hook them in the corner of the mouth most of the time. So here are the circle hooks that I use. Size five odd is the best size that I've found. So this is our full setup. We've got the rod and reel, we've got the 50 pound leader, and we've got the five aught circle hook, and that is all we're gonna need. It's so easy, you don't even need a tackle box. All you have to do is bring some spare leader and a pack of hooks, and that's all you need. So the last part of the equipment setup, you're gonna need a bucket, a cast net, and this part is optional, but it's definitely a plus, is a little bait bubbler box. That's gonna help keep your live bait alive. It is optional, but it's definitely recommended. Okay, now it's time for those three easy steps. If you live in Florida, you are in luck. You can catch big snook, it's really, really easy. So the first step is go to the beach. Now, if you really wanna maximize your chances, you should go during June, July, and August. These three months are the best surf fishing months for snook. Now, you can catch snook in Florida on the beach all year round, but these three months, June, July, and August, are when you're gonna have your best chance. If you really wanna maximize your chances and you're not sure where to go, find a beach that's somewhere near an inlet. Also, if you find a beach that has a pier on it, that's also a great place to snook fish. Now, you don't need to fish up close to the pier. In fact, I don't recommend this because the snook can pull you into those pilings and break you off, or you can get tangled up with the other anglers that are fishing on the pier. Step number two. Now that you're at the beach, you have to catch bait. So take your cast net and walk along the beach and throw your cast net, just blind casting. You don't need to see the bait, just blind cast your cast net. And what you're really looking for is any little fish that's swimming around in there, mainly croakers, sand perch, Atlantic herring. These are the three main baits that I use and the snook absolutely love them. Step number three, the best part of this whole deal. Now it's time to catch the snook. You're gonna put your bait on the hook 
right through the nose. There's, this is going to be a completely free line technique, no weight, no swivel, like we showed you in the setup. Now you're going to take your, your rod and reel with your leader and your hook, with your live bait attached, and you're just going to toss it out. Now when you get a bite and you're using this circle hook, it's very important that you don't set the hook. You don't want to give a big yank. That's not how these hooks work. All you need to do when you feel a bite, let the fish eat, you know, maybe for 10, 15 seconds to swallow that big bait. And then you're just going to wind your line tight with tension and it'll pull that fish right on that circle hook. So this is a perfect chance to go down to the beach and do this technique. Get there really early in the morning, catch your bait, and you're going to catch snook. Trust me, follow these tips and you are going to have success. Zip. Got a great shot. Ooh. All right, I just got picked up. We'll let him eat for just a minute here. All right, fish on. giant croaker this fish ate too, but he could be good size. close now. Oh yeah, nice snook. Oh, he's barely hooked. <clears throat> he just came off. Here we go. Nice snook there. <sighs> All that work was worth it.